Hello guys, I'm back after some time and I hope someone is still there. First, I have to thanks to the more than 1000 subscribers. Thank you so much guys. I decided to make this video because Google sent me an email saying I had a week to post something on Google Play on my account or it would be closed because I wasn't posting anything for a long time. So I decided to create a simple app to avoid this to happen. But the goal was to make everything in a single day. Create the app, export and post it in Google Play. So after searching the web for some ideas, I stumbled at this app to improve the reading speed and it seemed to be the perfect match. So basically here we insert the text, then we press start and the app shows word by word at a given speed. We have some configurations too, but the most important is the speed. So let's create something similar to that. So let's go to Godot. So first, let's change the side of our screen to match the common mobile resolution. Now, as we just need user interface for the app, we can select that. Let's save our scene and rename the control node. This will be our scene. Now let's create a background for our app. We can use a color rect to just use a color as background. Here we change the ratio to cover the entire screen. And now we can choose a color. Inside it, we can use a VBox container to align the other nodes in vertical. And then, again, we make it cover the entire parent size. Now, let's create a HBox container to align horizontally. Here we can add a label. It's too small, let's change the font size. Better, I think we can use some margin here. So let's create a margin container to define a margin to the entire app. Let's put the vertical box inside the margin container. And now here we can define our margins. Let's keep it at 50 pixels for now in our sides. Now here let's add an option button so that the user can choose the speed. Let's increase this box a bit. And now we can create a new label to the title of the text edit box. Let's just put something like paste your text. We need to change the font size too. I think so is okay. Here you can change the color too if you want, but I will keep it white for now. Now we can add a text edit. Let's increase its height. And now, let's add a button to start the app. Let's put a text on it. And here we can increase the font again.
Now let's go back to our text edit and put some text as placeholder. And again, we have to change the font size. So our layout is almost ready. Let's add some options at the option button so that the user can choose the speed. So here we add the elements. Let's add 60 words per minute, 120, 300 and 600 for now. I think it's okay for our simple app. And now let's run it to check how it goes. So we can press F6. So you can see it's not fitting exactly my window because my screen is not like the mobile resolution but we can test it anyways now we can create a script to control the app as this app will be really simple i will keep everything at the root but if you want to create something bigger please organize your files or you will be in trouble really fast now we have the script attached but let's create first the second scene that will be the screen showing the words one by one i will call the scene text Again, let's give it a background. If we want to use the same background color as the other screen, we can go back to the menu scene, select the color act, click here at swatches and add the color. So now we can add this color in any other scene in this project. So let's select it. And now we can expand our color rect. And we can use a label to show the words. Let's put it in the center. Let's increase the font size. And we can create a script. Now we can create the variables. First, we need an array that will hold all the words and a an variable to hold the array index so that we know which word of the text is being showed. And another variable to hold the time. Just to remember, we can define the types in GDScript if we want. Like here we can put int, here array and so on. But typing them is not required. Oh, and we can create another variable to hold our text. Now let's define some logic here inside the ready function. This will be called as soon as the scene is created. We can access directly a created node in Godot 4, marking this option. Access as unique name. And it's better to rename these nodes, because if your program is big and you have a lot of nodes, with generic names, you will lose a lot of time finding them. So now we can access this node directly, simply using this percent symbol. And as we want the text, we put dot text. And so we want to pass the words one by one to the label. We can remove this process function as we don't need to do anything at every frame. Now we can create a function to change the word. So here we check if the array index is smaller than the size of the array. And if so, we pass the current word to the label's text. And we increase the index to change the word. If the index is not smaller, we have no other word to show and we can close this window. Now we can add a timer node to control the timer to change the words. Let's make it auto start as the scene starts. And we add a signal that will be fired at the timeout. So when the timeout signal is called, we call our change word function. Now we can create another function to receive the text and time from the other scene. And we can make our timer unique so that we can access it directly too. 
and now our function is ready to get the values from the other scene. But before we do that, let's make a test to see how our scene is running now. So we can add a Lauren Ipsum text for testing. And I forgot a symbol, but very important part here. Of course, we have to pass our text to our array of words. So to do that, we use this simple string function, air split, that splits the text based on what we define here. As we want to split it by words, I will use the blank space. And I guess this is all we need here for now. Let's run it. And there we can see it running, but let's change the timer to make it faster. And there it is. Now let's go back to finish our app. So we go back to the other script. In this script, we need access to our other scene so that we can instantiate it. We can easily get the correct path to it, dragging the scene while holding the control button. And so we can access the script now easily. Now we can create a function to get the time defined by the user. So here we can use match to return the correct time based on the user option. Just remember these options, 60 word per minute is a word per second, 120 is equal a word each half second and so on. And now we can link the signal from the button to our script. And so when the button is pressed, we will create an instance of our scene. Then we pass the text and the time to the other scene with the set values function we created before. Now let's make unique the nodes we need to access. And then we can pass the text and the time to the other scene. And to finish, we have to add the scene to our game tree using this add child function. Now we can test it. Let's fix this so that the text will not be in a single line. And now let's run it again. Change the speed, paste the text and start. And there it is. Everything seems to be working fine. I will not make the whole process of explore the app because the video won't be become really long. And there is a tutorial page in Godot Docs with the whole process and I will put it at the description. I will just point some tips. First, here in our project settings at run, we need to define which scene will be the first scene to start. So we just select it. Here is the export menu, here we can add Android and basically here you have to put the infos based on the tutorial. It's important to note that Play Store doesn't accept APK files anymore, just AAB, but you can still use APK to test apps in your mobile device. And if you are exporting an AAB app, you need to install this Android bio template too but this is really simple and you just need to click it there for that and this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed if so please like and subscribe if you have any suggestions leave a comment i will try to post videos at sundays again as i was doing some years ago thank you for watching bye